What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, joined by none other, somebody you may have heard of, Jay Weinberg of Slipknot. Jay, how are you doing? I'm good, man. I appreciate it's you coming by. Yeah. Thanks for having me. So uh, this was this was your idea. Um, no, I would I would say I mean you having this is entirely yeah. the idea. Yeah. And then yeah. it just kind of makes sense if I'm coming up to this area all the time, we should just, we should do that. Absolutely. Um, and I'm glad that we're doing it. Yeah. So you emailed me, you said, let me bring my masks up there and we'll talk about each one. So I'm going to turn the floor to you. All right. And we'll just do this thing. Well, let's start at the beginning. My all time favorite Jay Weinberg mask. <laughs> That's the one. So wild. Why did they give you one of these? Was it like a, you have to wear this one singular thing and just experience having one <laughs> it wasn't anything that we talked about yeah it, it just it just was the one i hon i honestly didn't know that i could ask to have another one made yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I thought that know. they were like putting you through the ringer like deal with <laughs> one stinky mask the whole time no i mean you know it wasn't really um i started out with um like this wasn't the first one that i that i actually wore in anything mm -hmm. um conrad has the music video one, right? No, he uh, Conrad has one that was like made, but it wasn't it wasn't made like this one actually contoured to my face, and mm -hmm. the other one it like it like stuck off in weird ways, and it was like super. I mean, they're all uncomfortable to play in, but that was like it, it didn't even fit my face. So yeah. uh, we just kind of used that one more so as a uh, basis to like paint on and stuff, and so. Uh, so yeah, we gifted that one to Conrad, but that wasn't one that I ever really wore. Um, the original one that we made was like, I didn't know about the construction of masks and especially like the playability of it and, and how I'd be able to like wear it and play in it and mm -hmm. stuff. Like, you know, we, we spent the whole year making that record and then everything that was approaching like our live show was like, super you know it was at the end of a very very long process mm -hmm. so stuff like the mask and and all that was like it, it happened very quickly once we started playing shows and stuff yeah. so the mask that i originally had made i didn't know anything about the construction of it i didn't know how heavy it should be what it should feel like and all that like i was jumping into that for the first time yeah so uh so they had one made you know they were like yeah you know it's gonna be it's gonna be like this, this is how it made and it was like so fucking heavy. It was it was this like solid rubber. Like you can see how this is like really really thin. Yeah. That I'm not even kidding. It was like the the rubber was like that thick off my face, and it had like three straps, so it kind of like held my neck in place. Yeah. And it was like, I was like, if this is what I gotta wear, this is like, this is literal torture. Yeah. Like you know, we gotta make this easier. Uh, like if it doesn't change how it actually looks, we gotta make this thing easier. So. Uh, we used that mask for photographs for that album, uh, and then the uh, the first music video we did for The Devil and I mm -hmm. is that super heavy, like, super heavy rubber mask, um, easily like 10 times heavier than that. Um, so then once we did that music video and it was like impossible to play in, I was like, is there any way that we could make the same looking thing, but just lighter? Yeah. Uh, so I could actually like play in it and my neck isn't going to be like that for the rest of my life. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so then we, we made this and it's, yeah, it's a much lighter rubber, uh, more durable, even though it's pretty road tested. Yeah. And that's the only one that I ever, I ever had. That's I think that makes it more special. Yeah, it's like I mean, that can, is the one. Yeah, and you can even see on the inside that it's like I, I tried to like see the the fabric started coming off, yeah. so I was like super gluing it in place, and that didn't stay at all. It's yeah. completely rusted, and it's just a disgusting mess. Right? I have to give you props on this because honestly, when it debuted, I was like, eh, put that on here. It's okay. I don't want to do it because I don't want to rip it or oh, be responsible for any damages. So I wasn't super stoked on the design of this mask when it first came out. Right? Right. Okay. And then you started messing with it, and by the time that it got to this point, it was like top five Slipknot mask ever <laughs> favorite looking. It's just like you delivered the Slipknot formula on a mask that was just was it was what it was. Yeah, well that's cool. I mean, you know, that's that's what I, I kind of feel like, you know, uh, I started to learn over the course of like, what, two years we toured in support of that record. 
that like those things happen totally naturally and it, it's just not force it's not you know it, it just it took on this character that def definitely became like more me and mm -hmm. like v-man's became more him you know because we kind of started out with like the same looking thing new guys coming into the band and yeah um and so that was really interesting to me that it was like all this uh, you know i think our best the the things that we achieve like the best in my opinion are those things that like we don't speak of we just they kind of just happen and mm -hmm. you don't really anticipate it and it takes time like this just took time to evolve or devolve into what it became and yeah. then that to me kind of set the template for artistically where i felt this thing was coming from and where it wanted to go yeah. and and you just kind of like you just kind of let it you know take on its own uh its own vibe but yeah I, I really liked this one i mean it's clearly seen better days mm -hmm. um and the last show that we played um was in uh tokyo so i did like a kind of japanese flag yeah, on my, yeah. that's on, my favorite version of that yeah and i think i tried to like i think i tried to clean it off because i wanted i was gonna do like another photo shoot with it and i was mm -hmm. like oh my god i gotta get this red <laughs> yeah. this red stuff off here and i didn't do a very good job of it but yeah i mean you can see it's like starting to coagulate here it's yeah. just like you know, I don't know what that stuff is, but are you interested in salvaging that? No, no, I want to do its thing. Yeah, yeah, no. That's it's, like true art. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it's like it's such a special period of my life where, mm -hmm. you know, like that's how it all it all started, really. For yeah. you know, for for me and my involvement with the band is like, you know, this thing represents a lot, and and it was also kind of meaningful to me that it is the only one. Mm -hmm. It's I, I never had another one. Yeah. You know, like that, the, the first one, it went somewhere, it might be in the, um, the, the traveling museum that we have, it, it might be there. Um, but yeah, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm really not sure. I only wore it for like that music, that music video. So mm -hmm. this is pretty much, you know, the only, uh, the only thing that exists from that, yeah. that era. So and, cool. uh, and yeah, it, it does represent a lot of that, you know, like that that year of just like, even before we played a single show together and, and started putting stuff together, like what this mask was and and all that stuff, it's like there was so much time before that. It was like an entire year, which I, I, I kind of describe as like totally backwards for us that like, you know, we made this record and stuff and I hadn't even had the experience of playing a show mm -hmm. yet, which like so much of what we do on stage, you know, it's just like that, it, it informs what we do in the studio and and all this stuff it informs what this became and and whatever so to to have worked really hard over the course of a year and and those guys sussing me out if mm -hmm. i'm gonna be the right guy and and this sort of stuff you know it's yeah. a, a very long process to even get to where this started to come into play yeah um so yeah but it was a, a very memorable you know two two and a half years whatever that was it's amazing it's awesome Thanks, man. All right, what's next? Well, then we went to here. So there's rumors about this mask. I wanna, I wanna address this one and the next one. Both have rumors. Sure. Is this a Paul Gray tribute piece? It wasn't in. That wasn't the intention, but I can definitely see that. Yeah. Um, it must have been a subconscious kind of, kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, because because yeah, basically my my idea with it was to kind of take elements of this and act like there was this kind of ritualistic act of cleansing and like bleaching it out and it, mm -hmm. it definitely i mean it it's, looks gnarlier than than when yeah. it was first made but um but that was the idea of kind of like sharpening some elements of what this was kind of burning away some of this uh uh burlap stuff um you know, there was a patch with the logo on my forehead and I wanted to kind of sharpen that and make it more of like a carving. Um, and then kind of figuring out something different to do with the mouth. So that was like, talk about like, okay, so, you know, it was a zipper before, do I want to do a zipper now or do I want to do something different? So that's where the staples came into play. And it started to get like, I was kind of painting these like, these shapes on the, on the eyes, these mm -hmm. like ghosted out kind of things on, on that mask. So I wanted to make that more of like a, more of a staple piece that was just physically on the mask. So that came into like these kind of etchings over, over the one eye and stuff. Um, and yeah, but, but the, 
the rumor I, I get, I you know, I could say it's accurate in that it definitely took on those characteristics of like Paul's old mask. Yeah, it wasn't intentional, uh, but I but I thought that that was cool. Yeah. Once people started to see that, I was like, that's that's rad because that wasn't where my head was at, but yeah. clearly it, it it took on that that aspect, and so I, I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. And there's two versions of this. Yeah. So. There were we made two at the beginning. I kind of wanted one to be the reverse of the other. Um, yeah. So where this originally had like it, it was like copper staples that I then clearly painted over, mm -hmm. um, and it was more uh, gray in the middle and white on the sides. This I wanted to be, be like white down the middle and gray on the sides. Yeah. Because um, the white was kind of mimicking these sh sort of shapes here. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, I basically wanted like an inverse, and this is the one that I wore the most. Yeah. I only wore this one a couple of times, and I painted it a few times. Yeah. Um, so I painted this one completely black. Uh, you can even see like some of the yeah. black paint is still there. And then, um, and then we had uh, so like we played a lot of shows where I was wearing this, mm -hmm. and then and then I painted it black, and then we played in. Um, in South America. Yeah. Oh wait, no, 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 that's backwards. I we played South America and I painted it. Uh, you have one. The tribal -y yeah. red and Yeah, white. so so I painted that kind of for a special South America thing and a mm -hmm. nod to the culture and art and stuff. Um, because we rarely get the opportunity to, to play down there and it's super cool to like, you know, try to do something yeah. with that. Um so yeah, so I I painted it that way. And then had it with me on our European tour that we did after that, and then I just painted it completely black. Uh, but then I, we did a we did another shoot where I didn't want to wear the total totally black one, and I didn't want to wear that one, mm -hmm. so I just literally just like chipped off all the things. Yeah, you can even see some of the like yeah. the, like little drawing yeah. marks. God, that, I love that so much. That remain from from that tribally uh, design. It's amazing that taking those paint jobs that were on top of this original and didn't remove more of that paint job. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I drew those on with Sharpie. I think that would make sense yeah. why they're still there. Um, but yeah, so I just chipped it off and then we did like a, a band photo shoot where I was like, okay, well I get to wear a mask I haven't really worn in a, yeah. in a photo shoot. And you can see the inside construction is way better yeah. than oh, this yeah. one. Yeah. Like, look at the, like, I definitely learned yeah. a lesson with like having it, you know, this just like shoot up my face and it's just yeah. a nightmare. You must so, really enjoy not being able to breathe uh, in the mouth area because the zipper was always closed on this and then these clearly just don't even have a mouth. Yeah, well that, I mean, that's just one aspect of it that it's just like, it's not gonna change, you yeah. know, like it's not making it easier to breathe in you gotta by earn. like, by what? Like 1%, yeah. you know, it's, it's like, it hardly makes a difference, so. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just comfortable with this kind of construction. Like, I think I just got used to it with, mm -hmm. with this and, you know, over, over time the, the shape of it hasn't really changed all that much. Um, and yeah, it's just what I'm like, I, I mean, I, I, I hesitate to say that I'm ever comfortable in it, but it's what I know, yeah. you know, and it's like, I know what it feels like to play in that. Um, so yeah, so this was, I definitely learned though that it's like, you know, it's better to, Try to be a little bit more comfy yeah. <laughs> while I'm playing. Yeah, definitely an upgrade. Yeah, I love these. I did not realize there was so much uh, texture and layers to these two yeah. specifically. Yeah. Um, yeah, and we worked with a with a new guy, a new team on these, um, who I've worked with ever since. Yeah. Um, a team led by this guy, Jim Ojala, mm -hmm. were phenomenal. And, Super and nice guy, his, too. Yeah. Shout yeah, out to Jim. Yeah. What's up, Jim? Um, Jim's awesome. His team is awesome. And uh, and so they were able to, you know, as I was, like, describing this, and it was, it was a fun process because, like, this I didn't really have much uh, until we got out on the road and we were playing. I didn't have much input on this because mm -hmm. it, was, it was, you know, very much like, a, all right, this is going to work for you and for V-Man, yeah. you know, and, and like that, it'll start to, you'll find your own character in it. And that's what, that's what ended up happening. Yeah. So, um, and honestly, it's like, I was thankful for that experience as well, because like everything that we were doing was, it, it just took up so much of my, my mental capacity mm -hmm. that like also designing something that yeah. would be cool off the bat was incredibly intimidating. So it's like, all right, just like get 
in the flow of, you know, we're playing shows, we're, we've just made this record, you know, let's get out there and this will be, this will work for this. And, and I'm grateful for that experience because to come up with like something without having those inputs of like what our live show means to us, yeah. like that was a whole, that was a whole ball of wax. I had never even, you know, I didn't know. I, I thought I knew, but I didn't really know. Mm -hmm. So then once we started doing it, then it really started to like, I started to really discover what this truly means. Mm -hmm. like to what we do and to my contribution to it. So then when it came time to, to like, all right, we're doing a new record. It means, you know, we're going to make some new stuff. So then uh, kind of like, you know, doing all the sketches myself of like how I wanted this to evolve and not be in it, not be too huge of a departure. Like that was kind of also important to me was that it wasn't something that was completely out of left field, mm -hmm. totally different, you know, yeah. like I wanted to, I wanted it to have this relative consistency as it started to, phase out of this into into something new so um jim totally got that and uh i mean the burlap has definitely faded away yeah. on both of these but um but yeah still pretty cool and, and so these are the only two that i've i've ever had for for this mask oh and a staple fell off you can have it oh perfect yeah no problem that will not leave the collection <laughs> uh, all right natural evolution all right uh we're on to the next one sure that brings us to the end so far. Definitely the biggest difference so far. Yeah. That was definitely a, a step in a, in a different direction. Yeah. Um, I think you broke the internet with this one. <laughs> the debut and people were like shitting their pants. Right. Well, yeah. Um, you know, I, I think, you know, this definitely was, um, I mean, much like the We Are Not Your Kind mask was, it came, it came about after we had finished the record mm -hmm. you know and, and to me that's always been like what comes first especially because you know with the gray chapter we had done that entire record without thinking of what my mask would be or, or whatever um so to me that's always like what has to happen first is like the music is done you yeah. know and then i can kind of just kind of sit on that and as we're you know in the post recording process where it's like i'm listening to the songs every day you mm -hmm. know as far as just like making mixing notes and deciding if this is truly finished or whatever especially with we and i your kind like you know we spent so much time making that album and we had a lot of time to get away from it and just listen i would just drive my car and listen to demos that we made yeah. and decide like oh i wish i had done this you know made this musical choice differently or whatever and then i would have the, the time to do it um so yeah so Finishing the record and what became evident to us was like, this is the, you know, probably one of the most experimental things, you know, the band has ever done. Um, and, uh, and just kind of this very large leap in a, in a new direction. Um, I felt like this kind of characterized that. And I got to, you know, thinking how I wanted to evolve and, and continue, you know, do I want to do a subtle change or something pretty drastic? And, and I, I really felt like, you know, at, at least to me, I wanted something to convey, like, you know, what I was feeling about the world around me. And I, I think everybody can kind of relate to this, like, incredibly confusing and anxiety-inducing era that we, you know, yeah. we survived. A lot of people didn't survive. And it was, you know, was, I mean, that was a tough window of time to to get through of like you know having the having the door slammed in our face like we were all so excited you know with our new record and got to play a little bit but then yeah. all of our plans were just you know canceled so yeah. it's just like that was really tough and so um coming out of that and making a record that felt very different um kind of i think lent itself to uh to making a you know a mask that that was very different than than what came before it but still i think you know some little some little things that are that are con that that kind of have in common with those but um but yeah i came to jim with this sort of idea like i want things to be different i want it to reflect this anxiety and this confusion and sadness and and all that and uh and have that represented in this way and then he kind of showed me like I had done a lot of sketches for these, so like the idea was very like concrete. Mm -hmm. But I was kind of like, I don't really know how to convey this, like yeah. how to you know how to 
take what was really our template, which was this, and then morph that into a thing that conveyed all these other emotions that I felt were like going deeper and kind of touched on more of, of what we were speaking about through the music and stuff. And so, um, so he came up with a general kind of sketch of this and I was like, oh man, that's fantastic. Yeah. And, and we just kind of, we just kind of went with it. And, um, and we, we got back out on tour, um, still sort of in this odd period of time where like to, to me, and I don't want to speak for anybody else, but it's like, to me, I already felt like we had launched into like our new record's done. Mm -hmm. You know, like we came back on on tour and our record's done. Yeah. But we're not playing anything off of it, but it's done to me. Mm -hmm. And so we're kind of in this era where it was weird, where it's like, you know, we're still kind of, you know, doing stuff in the we are not your kind sense, but we have all this whole thing is finished. And and what? how do we, how do we kind of like cross that like weird threshold? Because we're kind of in this unprecedented time where we kind of have unfinished business and we also have a lot of new stuff that we're excited about. Yeah. So it's kind of weird. Um, so throughout the beginning of like that tour, when we came back, um, I was talking to, to Jim and, and trying to get stuff ready and, and, you know, we have time cause our, you know, it's going to take a while, um, for the record to come out. Uh, but throughout that tour, he and I were like bouncing these ideas and he was creating things and shaping them in an interesting way. And then it got to the point where I was, I was starting to like be really happy with what he was sending me, like mm -hmm. pictures of changing the mold and stuff and um it just so happened that our last show on that tour was in LA and he was like hey it's pretty much done like do you want to come to the the shop and check it out and um and so I went and I was like dude this this is phenomenal and amazing timing like we're putting out this new song tomorrow yeah uh he hadn't even finished like it was finished, but he hadn't put on the siding stuff and the yeah. and the uh, the inside part and the strap. And I was like, "Can you do me a favor?" I was like, "We're releasing the, a new song tomorrow, and we're playing this LA show. Can you finish this up tonight? I'll pick it up in the morning, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna play with it in our show when we play this song, this new song for the first time. And that's gonna be what launches into this. Like, you know, we've been waiting to with with this whole record." behind us and it's like okay finally we're able to put out something new and so that was kind of my jumping off point to be like all right that's new days i can turn this key and start to yeah. show people you know this uh this new thing absolutely it definitely delivers it, like it's spooky but it has a sorrowful feel i feel like it captured exactly what you were saying like pretty well um another rumor does the mouth say anything people have been Pointing out that the mouth looks like it says something. No, what does it say? Uh, people have said that they see kill you. Where? I guess that's the K I L L. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I yeah. Didn't... There's. I, Wait, I, I don't remember all of the ones that I've seen. K I L L L L. You. You. <laughs> I yeah, see I don't that. Know. Um, uh, maybe that was something that Jim did, and I didn't even know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> What's your favorite out of these? My favorite? Yeah. I th I think it's this one. I yeah. mean, like, I'm I'm very partial to just our newest things. Like, you know, whatever we're working on in the, you know, in the moment is kind of like that's what I'm most stoked on. I mean, it's hard to it's hard to say like, you know, because they these all represent you know chunks of two or three years of my life. So it's yeah. kind of like. I remember each one specifically for like who I was during that time and what we were accomplishing and um, you know it, it's uh, but but like all that said it's like I'm, I feel like I'm most proud of what we're doing now so it's like I think this is like my that's what I'm reflecting mm -hmm. into the world through what we do and and yeah so it's just like I don't know I think I think that one took the most of a step forward and um, and yeah, I'd say, I, but I don't know, you know, it's always like the next, the next one will yeah, be what's my, next? my favorite, yeah. you know, like that's, that's kind of always how it has to be. Cause you know, we're not really looking in the rearview mirror. We're always trying to yeah. like, try to maybe not outdo ourselves, but just do things that are different. And, and I, I really feel like, you know, when we all started, cause we don't talk about 
what we're doing like individually it always just kind of like it it always kind of happens where there's kind of a target date it's like okay everybody's new stuff has to be ready here just get it ready and then we all come together and then all of a sudden it looks like it just all came together you know like it it just kind of happens that way so when guys start coming in with their new things like when when i saw Corey's new mask at our first practice back i was like that's incredible and and like okay so that's gonna make me have to step up my game yeah. with it and I, I find that to be you know it's like the greatest strength of like any band is that you all push each other in those creative ways where it's not something you speak about but it's just like damn that's badass i gotta make mine badass yeah. <laughs> and, and so it was like throughout that tour i was just like very intent on doing something that's like very different very you know exciting bringing a little color into where there wasn't much color really mm-hmm. at all um and, and yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty psyched with uh, with this this one. And now it's been you know it's been like a year or so um, since this guy's been out in the That's world. Crazy. So it does not seem like that long at all. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I mean this year we were pretty we were very very busy this yeah. year. So it's seen a lot. Um, and yeah, I think it's it's kind of ready for uh, some changes. We'll see. You know, we'll see wherever that. That brings us. I mean, that that also kind of brings us to this one. Bonus mask. Yeah. So, it's this guy. We got the Conrad fellow. Yeah. Um, and that was really exciting. Like yeah. to, um, you know, we don't really collaborate much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're pretty isolated within our own thing. Um, excuse me, but with that said, I think there are, you know, there are awesome people within our world who you know we're, we're close with and um and so i met conrad flores uh this amazing artist in uh in peru uh through sid so sid uh had him come out to our uh one of our shows in peru a number of years ago and we met and hit it off immediately like he's this incredibly prolific uh artist in peru like you just drive around lima and mm-hmm. like you're like, oh, Conrad painted that building. He painted yes. that building. He painted that garage. He painted that. You know, it's like he's everywhere. It's awesome. And so he's just constantly doing stuff. And so, um, you know, once we got back into the world, and it was it was difficult because like we couldn't travel internationally, so we were just, we were just kind of playing, you know, locally for uh, for a long time. Um, but once we were able to to finally schedule some shows outside of the country, it's like, okay, this is an exciting opportunity to like. Maybe I could collaborate with, you know, an artist in South America to give a nod to the, you know, very vibrant and colorful and amazing culture that that is in South America. And unfortunately, we didn't play Peru this time around. Um, but when I came up with this idea, it was like, oh, Conrad's like the he's the guy who I, I got to get to uh, to collaborate with on this and paint it. And so I basically just kind of I was like, hey, I'm sending you a mask do whatever you want yeah and uh and i was like i like these colors i like what you do when you make these kind of choices and stuff so i just kind of sent him some examples of his own work i was like if you kind of follow in this it's gonna be awesome and so he sent that back i was like that Mm -hmm. is wild and totally not what i expected but i love it and uh and it was cool you know it was really rad to uh to do a, a tour that that meant a lot to us you know coming back to uh to south america after like seven years was was pretty pretty awesome and uh and to market the occasion with uh, mm-hmm. with this was pretty cool so i'm assuming this one's retired forever then yeah i won't i won't Too play special. with that anymore yeah. um you know it's kind of just for for this tour that felt like a you know um you know it's the end of the year and it's the end of a very very busy year for us where we accomplished a lot and, and stuff so i felt like to kind of celebrate this um you know the closing of of this chapter of a year that was so in, uh, immense for us um i thought it was yeah it'd be, be a really cool thing and, and hopefully that'll lead to to more you know like we're we still have a lot of ground to cover um so i'm hoping that it, it won't be the only uh like destination specific mask that yeah. i'll that i'll have that i'll wear yeah. um because it is really cool you know it's it's not easy to to get to these places and bring what we do with us so when we're able to like you know play places we've we've played a lot of places where we've never been before this Mm -hmm. year you know we played like romania for the first time i think bulgaria i believe we hadn't played before and so like you know going going back to these places and like we're going to indonesia where i know i haven't been before the band may have but i haven't and so um hopefully there'll be more opportunities to kind of do variations on uh on what that really means to yeah you know hey we finally got here it's amazing so with it being the end of the year um do you have any 
any hints or secrets maybe uh, towards what's next that isn't region specific? Um, nothing that's like really concrete, but uh, you know, I think um, I think the more and more we kind of just like evolve what we are doing as a unit, the more and more I'm kind of gonna want to evolve what I'm doing just individually. Um, I think I, I think it's it's a good practice, at least for myself. And who knows? Like I, I might break this rule. Who knows? But you know, there are no there are no real rules to what mm -hmm. we do. But I think it's it's a it's a fun kind of game to play where. You know, you have something that's kind of a consistent through line of like a record, say, you know, like the Grey Chapter stuff was pretty consistent. And I feel like the end so far, I want it to be this kind of consistent because it was a, a pretty specific album that we had made and that we, you know, that we ended up making. Like, I don't think we, we went into it knowing what we were going to create entirely, mm -hmm. but like, I feel like what we came up with was, was really out of the box for us and pretty different. So... I like to keep one thing kind of tethered to that. Like it's, it's, this is like the baseline of the expression of what I feel this album is about. And as long as we're playing shows in support of like that album or that kind of chunk of time and what it means to us, I like having some consistency. Yeah. So I'm sure if I, if I start to grow off of things and we haven't put out a new record yet, then it'll probably be based off of this guy and, and what it kind of, feels like it represents to me and, and how I can change that, how I can make that, you know, just a little bit different here and there. Yeah. And then when it comes to like, when it comes to the time where we, you know, operate in seasons, cause we, you know, we're very, very active. And then we have periods of time where we're not active at all, mm -hmm. you know, in between our first record together and our second, we had three years where we didn't play a single show, you know, that's, and that's just kind of, that's what that season was for us. Um, so I feel like that's the opportunity to really, hibernate and think about like what a new thing could be and especially because there's been such a drastic change between this and this yeah um i feel like that could lend itself to like maybe something totally out of the box and different for me um you know with a new batch of songs and and who knows you know what we're what we're going to be doing if we want to make an ep an album a double out triple album who, who knows mm -hmm. you know that the the future is so wide open um for those opportunities so so yeah, we'll see. But if you know, if I do anything different within, uh, you know, we've got some exciting stuff coming up this year. Um, so it does seem like a nice opportunity to do something a little bit different and put 2022, you know, away yeah. and, and kind of look towards the future with a, a new year. Um, you know, we'll see what the other guys are, are doing and, and how we're going to change what we're doing on stage and, and this and that um, and have it kind of evolve like that. I feel like all that stuff... It, it just seems to naturally evolve hand in hand and, and it's all very unspoken things, but it's like, all right, Hey, I, I just need to give my guy a heads up about what I want it to, you know, physically, uh, be like for me. And then as long as it fits within our schedule of, of what we're doing, then it kind of makes sense from there. Oh yeah. Well, Jay, I appreciate you coming out. I appreciate you showing me these. This is like a wet dream for me. Pleasure. Uh, obviously. <laughs> uh, you've always been really good to me and the fan base, and I just think that you're super, super appreciated. So Cool, man. Thank well, so hey, much. thanks for, for doing this. It's awesome. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope it was a banger for you. I know it was for me. And uh, you got any departing words? No, man, thanks for you know supporting what we're all about and, and, uh, and yeah, having such a, a you know, a wild, curating such a wild experience. And, and you know, it's, it's very... Uh, it's very impactful to, to come and see this, you know, this long history and, and um, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty rad. I'm so, glad to hear it, man. Yeah. This is my life. Cool. All right. Thanks, guys.